King Robert Baratheon, Sir Barristan Selmy, and Sir Jamie Lannister swap war stories in the Red Keep. Barristan recalls his first kill as being a Tyroshi soldier whose name he never knew. Barristan killed him with a lance to the heart. Barristan and Jamie also discuss their campaign against the Kingswood Brotherhood, when Barristan slew Simon Toyne in single combat while Jamie scored his own first kill, an outlaw he decapitated, as a squire of 16. Selmy attends the king at the tournament thrown in honor of Lord Eddard Stark's appointment as Hand of the King. Barristan stands vigil for Sir Hugh of the Vale after his death in a tournament accident. Eddard quizzes him over Hugh's death at the hands of Gregor Clegane, and how the lots are drawn to determine which knight will face another in the contests, still suspecting of House Lannister. Eddard states that, in his father's opinion, Barristan was the finest knight in the Seven Kingdoms. Barristan acknowledges that the Mad King's murder of Eddard's father was a grave crime and he is glad they did not cross swords at the Battle of the Trident. Barristan later accompanies Robert, his squire Lancel Lannister, and Lord Renly Baratheon on a hunt in the Kingswood. The king reflects on how much better things used to be, but Renly angrily accuses him of nostalgic self-delusion before stomping off. Barristan is bemused by the exchange, as well as Lancel's constant refilling of Robert's wineskin. Robert tracks a boar and attempts to kill it single-handedly. He takes a grievous wound but finishes the boar off with his dirk. Barristan bitterly claims to have failed the king as Robert lies on his deathbed, but Eddard counsels him that no one could protect Robert from himself. Barristan accompanies the wounded king's return trip to King's Landing and stands guard outside his chambers. After Robert's death, he stands guard in the throne room as King Joffrey Baratheon commands his counselors to swear fealty to him. Barristan is shocked when Queen Cersei destroys Robert's proclamation announcing that Eddard is to become the protector of the realm, but even more so when Eddard says that Joffrey has no claim to the Iron Throne. Cersei barks for Barristan to seize Eddard, and while he openly balks and hesitates, his unyielding loyalty wins out, and he reluctantly stalks toward Eddard. The situation escalating rapidly, during the ensuing melee, Eddard orders that Barristan is not to be harmed but the city watch betrays and murders Eddard's men and takes Eddard prisoner instead. Joffrey later shocks the court by publicly dismissing Barristan from the Kingsguard, which is an irrevocable lifetime appointment, on the grounds of old age and the fact he failed to protect Robert. However, the reality is that Cersei is cleaning house by removing anyone from court who isn't a dedicated Lannister loyalist. Barristan's shock turns to outrage when Cersei announces that his position as Lord Commander of the Kingsguard is to be given to Jaime. Barristan openly denounces Jaime as, the man who profaned his blade with the blood of the king he had sworn to defend, causing Cersei to angrily rebuke him. Varys tries to defuse the situation by offering Selmy a keep to live in and servants to tend his needs out of respect for his years of service, but Sir Barristan bluntly refuses the offer, insulted at the council's attempt to fob him off with, a hall to die in and men to bury me. He tears off his cloak, breastplate, and some other items saying he is a knight and will die a knight. Littlefinger crassly jokes that he will apparently be a naked knight, prompting the whole court to laugh at him. However, their mockery abruptly comes to an end when Selmy draws his sword in fury, silencing the entire court. Though the other five Kingsguard members block his path to the Iron Throne and Joffrey, Barristan pulls out his sword and claims that even now he could kill the other five Kingsguard as easily as carving a cake. The pause that follows highlights how this is no idle threat as even the Hound hesitates in attacking the legendary knight. He eventually throws his sword at Joffrey's feet, coldly calling him, boy, and telling him to melt it down and add it to the others that make up the Iron Throne, before storming out in disgust, leaving the entire court dumbstruck in his wake. Sir Jaime was indeed named as the new Lord Commander in Barristan's place, though in absentia as he was captured by the Starks in battle before he could return to King's Landing. Jaime's own place in the Kingsguard was replaced by Joffrey's personal bodyguard Sandor Clegane an affront to the institution, as Sandor is not even a knight.